another alleged potential, allegedly potential assassination tip in the county we live in. Oh my gosh, horrible! In the county we live in. Help, help them people, Lord. What's wrong with you? Good afternoon. Thank you all for coming here today. I am Chad Bianco. I'm the sheriff of Riverside County, yep. and we are obviously here. Uh, to talk about an incident that occurred yesterday Governor. at the rally that uh, former President Trump okay. had in Coachella. Uh, there has been a lot of media stir beginning last night with social media and uh, further on today about the arrest. And so I am here to give you as much information as I can. I will answer all of the questions that you have. Uh, keep in mind that the information that I'm going to give you may not be all of the information that I have, but because of what we're doing and because of the uh, the investigation that will obviously continue concerning this, there are some things that I that I cannot give you or that I uh, that I will not give you, but I will do everything I can to answer your questions. Uh, so to begin with, uh, yesterday afternoon, before former President Trump arrived to the rally, uh, we Excuse made me. contact with an to an individual on the inner perimeter of uh, our operation at the rally. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, this was a, a very large event. Uh, in regard to previous attempts on the former president's life, this was not something that we were taking lightly. We had a very uh, detailed plan in place on how we were going to keep not only the former president safe, but all of the uh, participants or the attendees of the rally safe. So uh, in general terms, I will tell you that we had a, a, a larger outside perimeter and then an inside perimeter that was completely controlled by us, by Riverside County Sheriff's deputies, and uh, both of them served different purposes. Uh, we did not keep residents from their homes. We did not keep people that were traveling through the area from going through if they had a legitimate reason to go through. So the outside perimeter was basically to allow people in that we thought belonged there. The inside perimeter was to make sure and to make sure people were proceeding in the right direction. The way it worked yesterday is only people that were allowed with v inside the perimeter, the outside perimeter in a vehicle was if you lived there or if you had documentation that said you were going to this rally in the form of, uh, of an email with VIP credentials or press credentials. Uh, those vehicles were allowed in, there were no other vehicles allowed. So that outside perimeter are the, uh, I will give you his name. The, the name that we have, and I'm going to put an asterisk by it as I explain this later, but we have his name as Vem, V-E-M, Miller, M-I-L-L-E-R, and his birth date is 10-26 of 1974. And the reason why I gave it to you like that is I will explain later. He approached the outside perimeter, gave all indications that he belonged there, that he was, uh, that he had, that he was a participant that was allowed to get into VIP and to, uh, and, and a press corps. And so he was allowed through that outer perimeter. As he got to the inside perimeter where deputies were conducting obviously a more thorough uh, evaluation of the vehicles that were coming in, there were many irregularities that popped up. The deputy noticed that the interior of the vehicle was in quite disarray. The vehicle had a uh, an obviously fake license plate, mm -hmm. and that prompted further investigation from our deputy into why the person was where, why the person was there, and what he was doing. During that investigation, uh, the deputy eventually found multiple passports with multiple names. Wow multiple driver's licenses. That's the person trying names. to get away. The vehicle was unregistered mm -mm, and see? the Look license plate was what we in law enforcement would recognize as one that is homemade and indicative of a group of individuals that claim to be sovereign citizens and uh, we and assuming the deputy assumes that he would that he was part of, of that. What if I'm just saying this allegedly. What if he wasn't there because it was allegedly that he is a full transported conservative the guy what well, if he was a they it's, it's been said that he was a registered republican uh-huh okay what if he was there to support because he didn't bring out weapons to shoot at nothing right right what if he was there to support trump and maybe he had some intentions for common 
but he had, but they, but he the one got all the stuff on. Maybe he was going to do what they thought on on Trump with Kamala, and he was there to support Trump. But then he got caught up and got and got see. Think about it. Yeah, hmm. identifying group. So during the investigation, obviously those identification documents were found in addition to a loaded handgun and a shotgun. Uh, obviously, this was before the former president arrived. Uh, the person was taken into custody. Uh, he was eventually booked into jail on those charges, and eventually uh, he was he was released. Uh, he will he will have to further his court case uh, is in the in the future. Uh, right now, we are actively. Uh, engaged in working with Secret Service and the FBI to ensure that this person is followed up on and all of the information that they can gather. I can tell you that from from my perspective, from from a state law enforcement agency's perspective, the, the firearms charges is what we arrested him for and booked him on. Uh, anything further will come from the federal government and quite frankly, I don't know if we will be a part of that. We will certainly be a part of that investigation and cooperating with them, but those charges, if any, will come from them. They will not come from us. With that being said, is there any questions? Yes, sir. sir we talked to uh, Mr. Miller this afternoon and he said uh, accusations that uh, planned to assess Trump were, quote, late bullshit. He said that he had a special access pass by a uh, Republic of Mark County, Nevada, uh, when he rolled up to the check told the deputy that his words as a courtesy that, uh, that firearm in the car. Uh, I uh, I will not comment on what he said uh, I, or specifics that that we learned or gained from from our contact with him. Uh, quite frankly, I'm 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 not really concerned with the statement that he gave the media after he was released from custody. I can tell well it, because it's irrelevant to me. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, there were a minimum of of 25,000 people that entered past those deputies into that location that that had legitimate identification and weren't carrying guns. So I yeah. will just go from there. Sorry, yes, ma'am. Sir, quoted as saying, probably stopped another attack, had a surprise, surprise. Um, and then obviously gave us all of that information. I'm just curious how, you know, what about what happened led you to that, that statement, given what you about what you saw in, in the car and everything? Yeah, so basically, I, I, I honestly, I, I will be honest with you, I don't remember saying that, but it certainly would be something I did say because it, it's something that in the last 12 hours we've talked about extensively of, of what happened. Uh, thank God, and, and by an act of, of really what we did in the week leading up to keeping that place secure, uh, I certainly wouldn't want to be saying after the fact that I wish we would have done something to prevent that shooting. Mm. And there is absolutely no way that any of us are going to truly know what was in his head. Uh, I can tell you that none of the other probably 50,000 people that showed up hey, yesterday guns. for that event right. brought multiple exactly. passports with different exactly. names and guns yeah that's crazy and that's a lot so that's the point it's like okay under, so why crazy. would you go to a presidential rally on either side with weapons if you didn't have any considering it's 50,000 and you are one of the 50,000 right. and you're the only one out of 50,000 people that I mean come on that absolutely makes no sense None. so of course they're going to be thinking unless you just that stupid that you riding dirty up there your tags off all this fake these all identification. I mean, it's like, wait a minute. What? How, so why would you even be there if your stuff ain't straight? Right. What's the point? I don't get you it. You can watch it on TV. It's a mystery. And not even worry about going to jail. It's a mystery. So what is the intent? It's a mystery. And why didn't they keep him is my question. Yeah. To investigate further. I guess maybe they didn't have any reasons to hold him because he didn't try anything. But I don't know. <sighs> Let me, let me hear this. Come on, a few more minutes. Yeah. Don't hear nothing now. If there is oh. any further statement about whether or not he belonged there, uh, the statement of him saying that he was given credentials to be there by someone else, that's, that's not up to me to decide. I mean, we, weren't, we didn't arrest him for going inside the facility. We arrest him for having guns, illegal guns in his car. Uh, the, what his frame of mind was, all we can, all, really all we can do is speculate unless we truly just want to believe anything that he tells us. I guess it's just given everything that's happening up to the, in this presidential so far, it's just quite a drama dramatic, given what we've seen so far. The, the, a dramatic statement for me to make? Well, just, yeah, it, I guess, but there wasn't any, I mean. So this is what I'm glad of. This is what I am very glad of. I know that, that the, the presence that we had uh, at the rally with deputies, with snipers, with counter snipers, and 
Secret Service snipers and counter snipers. I am glad that we're not talking about this after we shot him. Right, yeah. exactly. We get to talk about it before. Yep. And no matter what, it's all going to be speculation about what his Intent. intentions were getting yeah. there. What mm -hmm. we do know is he showed yeah, up with That's right. multiple passports with different names, hmm. an unregistered vehicle with fake license plate, Yo. and loaded firearms. Yo, that's I, I, brutal right. destruction. Three right strikes. Now, <laughs> I probably did yeah. have deputies that prevented the third assassination attempt. Hmm. Come on. It, if, if, if we are that politically lost, that we have lost sight of common sense and reality and reason, <laughs> Come on. we can't say that, holy crap, what did he show up with all of that exactly. stuff for and loaded guns? Come on. And we're going to and we're and I'm going to be accused of being dramatic. We have a serious, serious problem in this country. Let's go. Because this is common sense and reason. Hmm. I, I I saw some of you there yesterday. You didn't have guns and fake IDs. I don't know I don't know how else to Because well, you think about the guns, exactly. you think about it. The gun, <laughs> the gun for destruction. You got an unmarked car, ain't registered nobody. You can dump that and passports and be to be in another country. N exactly. Under John Bob. I mean, one, two, three. One, two, two three. three. Yeah. I mean, come on. Explain it. Next question. You about the two perimeters and how, you know, the, the one checkpoint, then you go the, 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 I'm just curious. Did he have the proper credentials to get past those? That, 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 did that check out? It was just what was in the car that was the red flag. But the credentials perhaps checked out with the deputies to, to get, get that access. So if you were... If you went there, uh, the credentials are are come out at the very last minute, and they are very very uh, vague. So there's actually three different points of contact and entry. We had an outer perimeter, an inner perimeter, and then you still have to go through Secret Service metal detectors and final big screening to actually get inside the facility. And that is where they would verify whether those were real. And to be honest with you, that thing that you have on your phone, it's all whether or not they have you on a list. It's, it's, it's not just showing up with a piece of paper and saying, I'm in. It's whether or not you really did apply through that website to get in. Secret Service does an extremely good job of trying to pre-vet people that are trying to get those tickets to get inside the... And I'm sure he, I'm sure that probably part of the investigation, but did he say why he had reports was? No, no. And then one thing about the, <laughs> I, I will confirm, you know, just because it was Boy, said of, of what him saying that someone else gave him three three a pass. Crazy question. Well, you don't get to give away passes to go to a, a rally of, of a former president or, or even a you know, the, the vice president going to her rallies. You can't, we don't get to share those things. I can't share it with my spouse. Right. Let alone with exactly. friends. Exactly. So all of those things are, are red flags for us going in. None of those things made sense. So it wasn't that we could verify individual documents that we had because there really isn't those things. And that would have been done at the final checkpoint going through that is completely run by Secret Service. Wow. Sure. Can you confirm that uh, this suspect here, I know you all are currently investigating him, looking into his past. He's a member of the Republican Party uh, and previously ran for State Assembly Nevada. Um, second wow. Second question, have you heard from the Trump State campaign Assembly. Secret Service in response to the actions that your deputies took? Uh, I'll take the last one first. It was, um, we certainly are, are still in contact with Secret Service and the FBI because this is obviously something that occurred that we'll be continuing to go till we get to the bottom of it until, uh, until there's a resolution to the entire thing. Uh, the second thing and the second and third thing, uh, I, I, I knew this was going to happen. Um, I couldn't care less what political party he belongs to. I, I, I honestly, I think that's the stupidest thing in the world that we have to label something and we're labeling this as politics. He was a lunatic. Mm. He, he was, and from my perspective Come in law on. enforcement, he was, it's that group, if in fact it turns out that he is part of, of the sovereign, sovereign citizens group, they are certainly considered a far right group. Uh, I, I wouldn't, from in my own personal belief, I wouldn't say it's a militant group. It's just a group that doesn't believe in government and government control. Mm. They don't believe that the government and the and laws apply to them. So mm. I think it's it's fringe one way or the other. I, I couldn't care less. It's 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 people trying to do harm, and thank God we prevented it. That's right. Can I ask one one other just clarifying question about yes. the car? Was was every single car that was an ace? And I apologize for about the setup, but was every single car checked? This was the only car that got after it. Well, I'm sure there were multiple cars that drew attention, but and and every single vehicle that made it into the the actual event, every single vehicle was checked. Mm. Uh, he did not make it into the event. He made it to our 
interior perimeter that was maybe 100, 200 yards away from the actual interior perimeter. So he didn't oh, get okay. to the point where okay. Secret wow. Service would find him. We identified him, before. Before. detained him, and eventually arrested him before he got to the actual event entrance. That's okay. good. Okay, it makes so much sense. I, it, please don't quote me on that, but yes. I mean, I think we'll stop right there. Yeah, um, I mean, wow. So he said checkpoints. I didn't understand what that meant. So you got A, go a little further, mm -hmm. go through this level of security. Mm -hmm. I guess each at each level of the checkpoint, the security is heightened. The level of expertise of this particular yeah. secured location mm -hmm. is at another level. So wherever this checkpoint, whether we was checkpoint B, because after you go to checkpoint c was the rally so he didn't get that far thank no. god but it's like thank god you had those points and shout out to riverside county man riverside county don't play but i guess because he didn't do anything they didn't they couldn't contain him but that still just doesn't seem right to me why didn't they ask further questions because now you let him go did you keep the guns i mean obviously, oh yeah of course okay. no no you you them not going right i them they're not gonna just hear here you go no, I right. Think those Especially got, since those this is an invest, okay, since it's an investigation, right? But and then he said he then may they have said more where they said, let him go. It's an illegal gun. Okay, that means not registered under you, so you definitely ain't getting that back. And he had a gang of them back down in Trump. Yeah, that's extreme. So he was like, "Come on, common sense." I like his nose, his the way he was answering the question was like, "Come on." To let's, me, let's he looked like a person that was ready to do destruction and flee. That's what it just seems like. Do destruction. <laughs> <laughs> do destruction. Because you got to think, even with far right groups, then that don't mean that they that they dedicated to whoever's the far right to the right. Exactly, candidate. and just because he's a they got Republican, their own crazy view. That does not mean that he is a Trump supporter. Right. So what? Just like a person who may be a Democrat don't mean they support Kamala. Yep. So I mean, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm just glad that, like he said, they were able to call it, catch it. So they had certain levels of security that was able to peep game. This is crazy. But, I mean, come on. Like he said, which makes it so blunt, and the reporter couldn't ask another question after that because it made so much sense. Yeah. Why else? And I was sitting here thinking while I was listening to him talk, why did he just forget that his car was dirty? He had weapons in the car. He and, had fake and, IDs and, in there. No, you don't forget that. I'm man. just saying, a, a they duh. See me Maybe rolling. he was just. Oh, right. They hating. <laughs> They trying saying. to catch me riding dirty. Trying to catch me riding dirty. I'm, I mean, no. I'm just like, okay, he riding dirty to the rally. He just done had a beer and said, okay, I'm about to go up and support him. Please. It's absolutely. That, that's that's the place where you want to make dirty, sure. But I want to go support my president before I go do some destruction. Exactly. I'm, no, but it's like, okay, I got all this crap in the car. Let me just go ahead and go to the rally because they ain't going to check my car. Duh. This is the place where you want to make sure all your eyes are dotted and T's across. You don't want nothing in the car because regardless of what you thought, that ain't the place for that. No, no weapons allowed. And no weapon forms against the shall prosper. <sighs> wow. I'm glad, man. This is crazy. What were you thinking? All right, y'all. Tell me what y'all think in the comment below, man. Do y'all um y'all think this man was coming to do harm, or he was coming just he was just a radical one to support Trump before he went and did some harm? Where was Kamala um on Her the next. rally? Where was she? What state was she in? That's what I'm curious to know. Well, my two somebody it, somebody find out where because this was today, right? Mm -hmm. So where was she, where is she at? Well, he said Saturday. That was yesterday. That was today. Today's Sunday. I thought it meant it was today. He said Saturday. Maybe so. Saturday. I it was know. Saturday because remember we had just started. I was like, Someone, oh, yeah. Anybody know what Kamala was? I'm going to look it up. Where, where, how far was she from California? This man had dirty guns in, from Nevada with, with fake license plate and a dirty dirty whip. How they let him go? No, That's you, my, you got, that was you got my too question. many dirties. That you was my too. question. How did you just allow him to go free with all of these things here? Why wasn't he held further for further investigation, questioning and and, you know, to see what the intent was. I mean, I know he still said they have an investigation, but is the man still in jail? 2024, be more. Talk less, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Stay prayed up. Bye.